All right, well, I pulled up at an intersection as at a stop sign, and I was getting ready to go straight. I looked to my left, no one was coming. I looked to my right, no one was coming. So I started going straight, and then all of a sudden, I like blacked out, and I noticed that I was looking at something I shouldn't be looking at, and then I realized that my whole car was spinning. And then I noticed that there was a car on the other side of me and that he had hit me and it all like happened in like a split second. It was crazy. Because <laughs> it hit my face on something and it was just like, I couldn't remember the day, like what day it was when I was asked and a lady like ran up, oh my God, your face. And it was just like, I didn't know exactly what was happening, but I knew just to get out of the car. Uh, I feel like, I don't know, kids don't always listen to their parents when parents are trying to enforce wearing seatbelts. Sometimes we're too lazy, sometimes we forget, but it's, honestly, it's really important. Um, back in like, sixth grade through probably ninth grade, even up to when I started driving, I'll admit that I didn't wear a seatbelt because, I don't know, I was just lazy or the car I had was a two-door and I didn't want to reach back and like put the seatbelt on and my parents always got really mad at me. And I started wearing a seatbelt after like previous car accidents that happened around here and luckily I was saved because I was wearing a seatbelt. If I wasn't wearing my seatbelt, I would have gone through the windshield and I probably wouldn't be here right now. And my friend Jenny, luckily she was wearing her seatbelt. I think she hit her head on the window, but she would have gone right through if she wasn't wearing her seatbelt.